Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, Dead Ringer here, bringing you another video. This time, I'm gonna show you guys how to record your flash games using Fraps with Sony Vegas Pro. This time, In the last video you might have recalled not that. The last video, uh, it was without Sony Vegas, and that's really last resort if you don't have Sony Vegas and you really, really, really want to record Happy Wheels. But um, this is for people who have Sony Vegas and they want to use it so let's go ahead and get started here movies um where 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 here got a little clip for you so let's go ahead and zoom in so so you have your clip um two options you have here you can either click on this box here um, or you can click on the top one and see this video event pan crop click that so um, you're gonna see this giant F and you want to click a corner any corner and you want to do about the size actually before I get started um, right click on your video again properties maintain aspect ratio uncheck disable resample check that's just gets rid of the black box around your video that's crucial okay so about more or less you just want to do that now you want to click on width and just use your up and down arrow keys to kind of adjust that so I'm using up down okay that's about good height we'll fix that really funny because this is like my sixth or seventh time doing this my mic has been muted uh, the entire time so it's just okay that's perfect so that's how you do that that's how to record the, the full screen now um, let's say your video is way too loud and you just keep on pressing this and it won't do anything what you do is you click on the audio track press the V key and it pops up this blue line this is your volume line so you kinda wanna mess around with it down is obviously um, mute up is the loudest and uh, for more complex stuff if you double click you create a point and you can kinda just loop that around so when the video starts it'll start off loud and then it'll kind of go quiet it's kind of like a gradual peak and you can add as many points as you like but for now let's go ahead and keep it down another thing I want to show you guys is um, let's say you messed up a lot of times in your video and uh, you don't know how to split it apart so say you want to edit here and here you go to those points press the s key and then you go to your second point s key again and as you can see it totally just sliced it out so go ahead and press delete just reunite it but let's say you have a lot of these um let's see if i can split a bunch of parts um, and it took you lots of time to organize the timings perfectly, but at the end, you forgot to add your intro. You forgot to add your intro. Now, let's see what happens if you try and put your intro on the. You really can't. You can't really do anything about it. You can't move it because it'll just move god damn it it'll move oh my god uh no uh what does this clicky tool do no it's the lasso tool zoom at it uh 
Um, what's going on here? Oh. Yes? Finally! Okay. Sorry about that, guys. So, if you try and put your uh, video in the front, it won't work. If you try and move it, it won't work either. Really nothing you can do. But, um, I have a little trick. You just press Auto Ripple here. Drop down. Select like the third one, all tracks, markers, and regions. That does. It allows you to move all of them at the same time. That's pretty handy. So just take this. Slide in your intro. Put it back. Boom. You didn't even have to move anything. And I'm sure you all know about fades. But I like to keep it about one second. Fade does. It introduces your video with a nice little... The darkness kind of fade thing. So you can use that by clicking the, the corners, the top, top corners. You can do it anywhere you want. So I think that's it for this little tips video. So thanks for watching. Um, be sure to subscribe, comment, rate. It helps us out a lot. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. All right, thanks.